What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 23,000 subscribers, I would really appreciate it. Me and Blue Jays Outdoors are actually out here on the lake today. We're at an inland lake around the house. We don't have that much time to fish today, so we figured we would stick around the house and see if we can catch anything. We haven't been out here to this lake in a little while, so it should be pretty interesting. Hopefully we can get on a couple fish. Make sure to stay tuned and I um, really appreciate you guys watching today's video. says you can't catch bass on a pink whopper plopper inland lake check that out ea bait company number 75 pink whopper plopper custom painted for me by eli bite's been a little bit slow but uh dylan and i are seeing some fish activity on top water not a big one but a fat one look at how thick she is definitely feeding up for the fall water temperature is getting down in the mid 70s so these fish are going to put the fall feed bags on so hopefully we can get a few more but We'll put together something. Stay tuned for more. Definitely keep the lines of communication open there. Yeah, I'll get you know what boat boat with the uh, doctor. Drive by yeah. super fast. Close to yeah. Oh, it's not. It's not. Then I started, I picked it up in the spring, man, and absolutely started for the great train. Yeah. I, I swear, man. Usually it's like the go to lure out here. Yeah. I haven't even really for all of that jig. I remember when I first started bass fishing, I'm like, dude, she was there right on your line. That fish hit your line. <laughs> well, my first fish of the day is a northern pike right there on the black and blue um, Guggen Squad clickbait. Pretty cool. Having a pretty tough morning. I had a couple hits on the top water this morning, but no, none in the boat. But my very first fish in the boat's a northern pike. Pretty slimy fish, gonna get him back. Didn't, didn't look really fishy. There's a nice lip hat flat there on the right hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There he is. Yep. On the morning dawn, northern. <laughs> Might be a pike video, I swear. <laughs> the very first fish ever. So uh, I think this is going to be a pike video. So not a giant, but uh, very first fish ever on the. Uh, I don't know if I should call it pink, but I guess morning dawn spinner bait. It's got double willow blades on. It's got a gold blade. Dylan's a big fan of these willow or these gold blades, so I wanted to throw this bait around because it's got this little little willow blade and the fish the. Uh, the fish we've seen on the surface have actually hitting these little itty bitty fry So I was thinking that maybe the fish would be focused on maybe these blades, but just first cast with the morning dawn uh, spinnerbait we got another northern so I think that's number three or four for the day Not a bass, but they are fun to catch So we will get this fish back in the water All right, there we go got him unhooked nice little hammer handle and 
<laughs> Look at that's how they're slimy. Look at how slimy that is. It was crazy growing up. The lake my dad and I used to fish all the time. We would troll for New Orleans. Yeah. We'd use 50 pound mono with a 12 inch steel leader with a Johnson silver spoon and a porker. Fish. Hi. What? This is hilarious. We're racking the pike this morning. Check that out, little guy on the Guggen clickbait. I seen him eat it. He followed it all the way to the boat. But there's a ton of fish in here. They must just be all bike. Pretty cool. Gonna put him back. Maybe he'll be a 40 incher one day. There he goes. Um, you know, my. And I laugh and said, no, nah, man, my grandpa was born there and lived there. He was like, that's crazy. We're out in Scotland. And I said, fish, probably a pike. Hey, girl, it's a bat. Hey. <laughs> Check that freaking giant out. <laughs> That's a certified dinker on the Guggen clickbait, black and blue. It's working pretty good this morning. We're just fishing some offshore grass right now in like eight to 10 foot of water. There's a bunch of fish in here, but little guy, still fun to catch. But hopefully we can catch a couple big ones today. Having fun out here with my buddy Blue Jays. See ya. Fishing. Yeah. The island. So it's just a short drop. Well, just move spots. What do you know? Another northern pike. These things are freaking aggressive today, dang. Definitely getting a lot of pike this morning. Um, got a couple bass, but these pike are always fun to catch too. They definitely put up a good fight. Trying to get my nuke punch out of his mouth. He wanted it. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, they like to swarm or squirm around like crazy. Beautiful fish. Check out those like yellowish fins. Pretty cool. All right. See. You. Well, I know what's hungry today, the northerns. Seems like that's all we can catch. I've been throwing all kinds of baits, drop shots, um, spinner baits, tubes, jigs. They're only wanting some type of moving bait, a jackhammer, Guggen Squad clickbait. Blue Jays has caught one on a spinner bait, but right there on the Guggen Squad clickbait. All right, putting them back. Northern. 
So I guess today is the day of the pike. So Dylan and I just moved to this shallower kind of offshore flat with grass on it. First cast with the morning dawn, strike king, spinner bait, another little hammer handle. So we haven't been able to uh, really target or uh, isolate the bass bite, but uh, you know, catching pike's always fun as well. Nice little guy, pretty colors on him. But uh, yeah, we're uh, making a day of it. So stay tuned, see if we can't find some more pike. I guess this is a pike video now, so. There's Bash. Finally. Jumping. All right, so we had to go old school. It's been a little bit slow today. Pike bite's been pretty good, but Dylan and I have been struggling with the bass, so I went really old school. I just put a, put on a uh, Berkeley Cinco in this brown and orange color, which is my favorite color, with this uh, 4 aught offset worm hook. And uh, yeah, biggest bass of the day. Sometimes you gotta go old school and it bites tough. Fish forecast is pretty low today. I said pike have been biting, but uh, yeah, went, went back to what got me into bass fishing, this little worm right here. So. This is Berkeley Cinco. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but sometimes going back to your roots, we'll uh, put some fish in the boat. So biggest bass of the day. See if we can't get a few more. Fish on. Well, we just moved in some shallower water, guys. We've been fishing the main lake all day, but I figured maybe these fish are starting to transition into these little coves back here, little canals. But pretty cool on the black and blue Guggen Squad clickbait. Pretty cool. Beautiful, healthy, largemouth bass, but gonna get a picture real quick and put them back. All right, putting them back. So there, was a, there was a tournament going on one morning on the drill, and uh, I kind of wish I was fishing that, I kind of wish I was fishing that tournament because yeah, I had a least. 16, 17 pounds. All right, so we're still back up in this this kind of shallower sandy uh, flat, and there's tons of bait. So I picked up the uh, swim jig with the uh, orange trailer on it, dipped it in pink dye, and another nice, beautiful, healthy fish. Not a big one, but man, they're starting to th thicken up. Look at the belly on those fish. So water is actually like 77 78 degrees back in here this is the warmest water we found and this is the most consistent action that we've we've seen so there's tons of bait so when you guys start seeing tons of bait make sure you throw like a swim jig or some sort of bladed jig to imitate those bait fish that they're chasing after because they're chewing back in here it seems like so we'll get this fish back and see if we can't get a few more <laughs> 